Hello everybody, welcome back to we're playing another game of League of Legends. I'm the Strategy Professor. I'm doing a little, uh... It's kind of close to Christmas time when I recorded this, so we're just running a little Santa hat here. Oh, it's a cannon support. Okay, interesting. Janna action. I just saw that we had Twitch. I was like, okay, Twitch. Let's do Janna. So we should outscale him pretty hard. Comp is really weird. So, trying to make our way back to Diamond. Currently, Plat 5. We are at 99 LP, so if we win this, we'll be in the promos, which would be cool. Have I been in promos yet? I can't remember. I think I may have been in promos for this uh, Plat 4 once. Not sure. But I have switched up my build um, on Janna a little bit. So, instead of coin, I get this so that I can get the um, Eye of the Watcher item faster so I can get four wards because the oasis is really bad I think this doesn't give you a lot of combat stats I mean it is cheaper than I have the watcher I think so I don't know maybe but I don't I have the watcher it gives you uh, 25 AP which is really nice I need to get up here and take a bit more, uh, take a few more hits, I think. Just to distract him. Who's their jungler? It's Kha'Zix. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, we just want to basically go even in this lane, and we should win. I mean, Kate is very strong later into the game, but... Twitch is stronger. They know he's going into that jungle. Nice. I'm not sure if he's going to get her or not. That was pretty sweet. Does she not have heal? I thought she had heal. Ah, uh, crap. I guess we'll just go ahead and grab these two things. I wanted to get the full sight stone, but I just can't afford it. Sorry, I'm trying to keep up with the chat. <laughs> Thanks, Nightcrawler. <laughs> As you wish. Yeah, 
I need to get out of here. Yeah, it was scary. Janna things, though. We're roughly even on CS. We each have a kill and an assist. Oops. I think Ziggs is actually becoming pretty dang good as a mid laner. If they nerf Syndra, which I think it's a nerf, I don't know, it's hard to say. I think Syndra is basically, it's a nerf. Um, then I think that will open up room for Ziggs. And Ryze is getting a nerf too, I think. So I think that'll let Ziggs be a little bit better, especially in competitive play. Because I've, I've seen him running around a lot more, and uh, he seems really good. Like, he's a poke champion, though, so it has to go back towards a poke meta. So poke metas are good if there aren't really good hard engage champs. And um, if there isn't a lot of life stealing. Or isn't, if the healing champs aren't that good. So right now they're not that great, primarily because Redemption and Locket make people, like, that. all that plus healing makes people want to play the healing champions. Like, I would expect to, in competitive play, probably see a lot of Nami. Especially after the Karma nerf. Potentially, I don't know. Nami's not that great in a Zyra. But Zyra's not... I don't know, it'll be interesting to see. Zyra's kind of... With the new items, like, she doesn't synergize very well with Redemption and Locket, so... I don't know, I think that Nami will be a thing. We'll see. So I think Nami could be kind of the premier healer, bully, champion that you'll see in competitive play early on. I I still think they should be playing Nautilus more. I don't know if they'll actually do it, but... Yeah, we're kind of getting bullied out here. My heal had like one second left. Like, what is the cooldown on that crap? Oh, well, you gotta teleport out of it, I guess. Hey, thanks for the sub, friend. Thanks, Majestic Rogue. Right, we definitely want this. A couple of these, one of these. That looks good. Yeah, so I was trying to bait him. I just shouldn't have even done it. I saw that Kenan was up there and he wanted it. I didn't even think that that Caitlyn ult would be back up already. It felt like she just used it, but I guess it was not probably a couple minutes ago. Gonna get some wards down here.
Can we do it? Yeah, I mean, Kha'Zix just had to run, so... I was waiting on him to ult. Where is that? Could be down here. Oh, it's okay. That's fine. That covered. Come up here and help him take this. I mean, using the ult like that as as a starter is not terrible. I thought he was gonna ult, so I didn't want to. <clears throat> I just didn't want him to die. I was getting a little close. That's my thing, dude. I wear the uh, button-up shirt with a tie. I don't know about fancy. My mom probably, or my mom, <laughs> my wife probably got this at Goodwill. If I had to guess. I don't know about like too fancy, but it is a button-up shirt with a tie. You just gotta keep it classy, you know. I am the uh, the strategy professor, so I mean, this is what I wear to class too when I teach. I used to like go in wearing like ripped jeans and a t-shirt and stuff like that, but I don't know. I don't know, mix it up a little bit. What do we have here? Hurricane BF. She's She's surprisingly not that far ahead of him. Items. Or not that far behind him. Sneaky, sneaky. Let's have to make sure we close this out. Now, Kinnon just doesn't do anything, really. I mean, he sits there and, like, does a little bit of poke. Nice Nightcrawler. Good job, friend. An enemy has been slain. 
I need to go by. I mean, are those uh, Iron videos, are those pre or post buff uh, nerf? So he got some pretty significant nerfs to his shield. Like it used to slow for three seconds, 70%. I think they've nerfed it quite a lot. Oh man, someone's got this easy rolling. He's gonna take the tower if I don't stay, so I've gotta stay. Jesus, that was really bad. I feel like we're crushing this game, but maybe we're not. what Ziggs was doing over there, but I need to try to stay with Twitch. As you wish. Are we even really winning at this point? I think so. I don't know. more Well, everyone else is back, so I'm just going to make sure that he gets this. I mean, I guess we can... They're all up. Let's go ahead and grab Eye of the Watchers. Grab another pink. Swiftly. I'm a cutie pie. I'm a cutie pie. It's pretty funny.
kind of tipped him off by hitting that, but... get that bottom tier. Oh, jeez. Goodbye. So it was pretty dangerous, but with Camille and Jax, they just take it so quickly. Um, 43% CDR. So I could go either ZZ or Lock it. I think we've got the team fight on Lock, so I think I'm gonna go Lock it now. Or um, ZZ, rather. In harmony. <clears throat> Okay, they should kill that Garen. I think. Sure, yeah, they do have a ward in here. An enemy has been slain. Right, Twitch backed. And walk the minions up here with the Baron. I need to get at least a couple of towers off this Baron. Now there's a lot of counterplay to uh, Camille. Like you just have your team around. Like they can go in there and fight. Maybe not one on one. Definitely save that Ziggs with my uh, with my redemption there. I ended up dying, which kind of sucked, but <laughs> nice. he's getting a lot of stuff so come on man just leave just leave I mean, we could maybe 2v5 him
Yeah, I kind of baited him into that. I shouldn't have, uh, should have done that. trying to stall them. They're gonna get it, but... Oh gosh, for real? I was gonna say I need to get the uh, the Ruby Sightstone, but I've already got Eye of the Watchers. Stay with Jax. Jax seems like he's the ticket. Is the rat dead? Yeah, they got him. We did get all three inhibitors, though. Tornado steal on drag. Uh, that would have been cool. Upon the wind. As you wish. I hate the new like length of the vision because now they can just clear it over the thing a lot of times.
Damn it. Damn it, I wish we had Twitch up here. <sighs> Swiftly. How much damage? Two attacks, 2200 damage. I tried to blow Kha'Zix out of there, but it's just really hard to get him off that pit. Oh. <laughs> Hope you're trying to keep the chat alive. Thanks so much. What's your favorite skin? I have to think about it. Yay, we're in a promo series. So that's pretty solid. Um, so for tonight, what did I do? Ended off strong. We had a bit of a rough stretch there. So we won what? Uh, six in a row. Lost four. And we went... So we went five and one, lost four, and then six in a row. So that's what? Four, five... So we went 11 and five. So that's pretty good. We're on our way back. Hey, Red. So that's going to be my last game for the night. But if you want to stick around and ask me some questions, uh, you can. Uh, before, just for any new viewers here, before I answer the questions, and I'm going to answer your question first, Red, because I just saw it. Um, I'm just going to give you a real quick tour of what we have to offer. I stream every uh, Monday to Friday unless I'm out of town. Uh, I'm going to stream Saturday too, probably this time. Uh, starting at about 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. A lot of times I don't go quite this late, but I just kind of did tonight. Uh, but I usually stream for at least four or five hours starting at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you can catch all my past streams here. And I timestamp all of them so you can see exactly which champion I play, the runes that I play, and the time that the game starts right here. So I think that's super helpful. And then there's a frequently asked questions if you want to click on that. Um, just like, why do I build ZZ Rot? Why do I sell gold items a lot? Some of this has changed over the last few days. I've kind of rethought my position on a couple of these things, depending on the situation. Um, but it's all useful uh, food for thought, especially how to climb in low elo. I've kind of got you hooked up there with some good guides and recommendations. Uh, then speaking of the guides, 
We have a lot of guides as well. I've got a new uh, matchup guide that I'm going to publish probably tomorrow uh, that I've been working on. Um, but we have some really solid guides here. They're about an hour long each. Um, we have Mastering the Map, Itemization, Stats, uh, the tier list, the 6.22 tier list, really in-depth explanation about a bunch of different champions. Um, itemization is one of my favorite ones. Mastering the Map is also excellent. Uh, they're all really solid. But you can see here, I've got the timestamps, tells you exactly what's going on in what part of the video. So even though it's long, you know, you can just watch your favorite 10 minutes. So if you want to know, well, what do I think about ZZ Rot? Why, why do I think that item's good? You can check that out at uh, 33 minutes if you'd like. But this one's basically a cost analysis video of just how much various items are worth. So if you've ever wondered what just happened to your thing, <laughs> um, did I accidentally press backspace? It's really late. I must have messed that up. But um, we've got a Google Doc here. There we go. Uh, that kind of breaks down the TLDR version, such as the gold value of various stats, how resistances work, why shields and heals are four times more effective than damage most of the time on supports. Um, and then just a cost analysis of all these various support items. So, for example, if you've wondered just how OP Redemption is, you know, its relative value is about 475% um, relative value. And then uh, the locket is, what, 275? 300. Locket's 300% value. And as compared to some AP items like Leandre's, which are, I think Leandre's is like 125%. Yeah, Leontris is 125%. So if you want to know why or how I do those calculations or, you know, how that works, if you've ever wondered, well, why are AP supports kind of out of the meta right now? You don't see them a ton. Um, at least I don't see them a lot in my games. Uh, this is probably why. It's because Redemption and Locket are OP is the short answer, but I give you kind of the longer answer here if you're interested in hearing a more in-depth explanation of that. And then finally, we have the individual playlists, if you want to check those out. So I know I had some people asking for Tom Kinch tonight. Unfortunately, I didn't see a game where I could really play him in an optimal position. But I've got 53 Tom Kinch videos right here in this playlist. So you just click on that. It starts with the newest one, works its way to the oldest. And then I tell you the runes that I use in each one of these videos as well. So I have playlists for all kinds of champions. I've got 53 Tom Kinches, 57 Janas, um, 19 Alistars. Uh, 23 Zyras, so all kinds of good champions, and I'm updating that daily as well. And then, um, yeah, so that's it for the tour, and then let me answer some questions. Um, so somebody asked which, yeah, like Seligora said, if you really enjoy the content, consider subbing if you haven't already, or liking the video. Uh, that helps other people find and enjoy the same kind of content that I hope you're enjoying as well. And if you sub, then that gives you the notification of when I'm streaming, and... Um, you know, all kinds of good stuff like that. So helps everyone out. Okay, so the runes that I use right now, the runes and masteries that I use for Malzahar. Someone asked, so I use the uh, double pin uh, red runes. You can substitute this for armor if you don't have the double pin ones. I know, I think these runes are kind of expensive uh, and they're really specialty runes. Like there's not a lot of champions that use the double pin, but I think that those are, uh, that's pretty good. And then uh, the four health runes and five armor runes, nine cooldown reduction, two move speed, and four armor. And then as far as the masteries go, uh, I'm not 100% sure what I like for the masteries, but I think Thunderlords just kind of makes sense. You get a little bit of extra pressure. Um, I mean, obviously, Wind Speakers is not really that good. I've tried Storm Raiders. It's kind of whatever. A lot of times you don't deal enough damage quick enough um, to make that happen. And then uh, Grasp doesn't really make a lot of sense. Courage could be good, in theory. I really like the 5% cooldown off of Intelligence, though. So, I don't know. DFG doesn't make a lot of sense. You don't usually build a lot of AP on him. So I don't really know. There's not a great mastery for him, but I think Thunderwords is probably the best I can come up with. Uh, and then I just do it like that. Let me see the other questions. I am streaming tomorrow. Yep. 8.30. Oops, any final questions here? Uh, I never sleep, Reddish. 
No, I do sleep occasionally, but yeah, I, I have been putting a lot of work into the channel. I'm really trying to make a good community and give a lot of great content here. I'm definitely committed trying to make this channel the best it can be. And I'm going to increase the production value over time. I do play a lot, um, but I need to stop and just, you know, add in like, you know, come up with a better thumbnail and add in an outro and maybe an intro and stuff like that to the VODs. Um, yeah, no problem, Red Wharf. I hope to see you again sometime, friend. 8.30 Monday to Friday. If you want to tune in, 8.30 till late. Um... Well, it's what were the percentages? Check out the itemization video. I explain it, but that's basically the relative gold value. So for something like redemption, you're paying twenty one hundred gold, and you know, given everything that it gives you, I uh, I don't have the thing up anymore, but it gives you you know somewhere in the neighborhood of I think it was like nine thousand gold worth of value or eight thousand gold worth of value. So that's why I say the relative gold values is like three hundred seventy five percent what you pay for it. So just watch the video. I explain exactly how I'm getting those percentages and how you can use that to help inform the kind of items that you buy. Um, <laughs> that's awesome, Honorog. Three-year-old looked at me and called me Santa Claus. That's awesome. I kind of look like him. I just need gray hair. Just give me like, give me about another, hopefully another 20 years or so, and then I'll look like the full-fledged Santa Claus. Hopefully a little, little thinner than the classical Santa Claus, but we'll see. Snow Day Bard. I think the Snow Day Malzahar might be okay. I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite skin. I haven't really thought about it. I could check out Last Shadow. Nice. Everybody's getting A's and things, that's what I like to hear. Do I play uh, Grand Theft Auto V? Uh, I've never played that. I meant to play it. I think I actually bought it on a Steam sale like a year or two after it came out, but I just never got around to playing it. Um, I haven't seen anything that's going to nerf you also. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm on NA. All right, that's going to be it. So thank you very much. Hopefully everyone enjoyed it. And I'm going to be back here uh, tomorrow night around 8.30. So tune in for that. And uh, I'll see you next time. If you have any remaining questions, just leave me some comments uh, when the VOD comes out or comment on some of the other videos. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, have a good evening or day, uh, depending on where we are.